songwriter once wrote a song about this city, a song to be sung at a piano, a heartfelt emotional song with a chorus that was almost shouted out. He sang about the feelings he experienced looking over the city at dusk and how the place could lift him up, as if it was his big brother or a friend that had been with him since he was a young boy. He described flying kites with his friends on the mountain, about running down the slopes towards the lights of the town as it got dark, about kissing a girl on the shore of the lake as thunderclouds rolled in. It was popular with the people who lived in the city, and often, if the song came on in a bar, people would join in. People who took music seriously and discussed it in a serious way were critical and unkind about the song saying that the city was far too young for someone to start writing such songs about it, and that most of the sentiments about the city were borrowed from songs and poems about other, much older cities. This is a unique city, someone said. It really is. But it's not ready to be written about yet. I have fillings in my teeth that are older than this city, a prominent music writer wrote. More kish, shallow end trivia, another said. I will build a city here, where we stand, a man standing at the edge of the lake had proclaimed some decades earlier, nodding silently to himself. The engineers and architects in high visibility jackets standing around him winced at the time, because they felt uncomfortable to hear him say such a thing. These weren't modest men themselves, and they didn't doubt at all that he was a man that got things done. But how pompous to talk like that, they all thought, like a Roman general, or someone convinced that they would be seen as a pioneer in the future. The shyest of the architects, a man too shy even to sing in his own car, considered as he drove home that evening, what if all those remembered as great people through history had actually been as embarrassing as this grandiloquent individual? The songwriter might have been better off writing a ballad about this self-confident land developer, because some 18 months after saying, I shall build a city here, he was killed by a sudden jet of wet concrete, bursting out of badly constructed plywood shuttering at the base of what was going to be a spa and wellness center.